the Lord. Let's be the Lord. The God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear. I shall not fear. The dark of night. The dark of night. No, the Protect me from their wicked hands. Beneath the shadow of his wings I will rejoice to find a dwelling place secure. Bless be the Lord. Bless be the Lord. Bless be the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this Holy Eucharist of Love. We are happy to celebrate the feast of our founder, Father Peter Mary Mermier. He is also the founder of the Sisters of the Cross of Shavanoth. We also celebrate the feast of Saint Jerome. Dear brothers and sisters, we humbly request you to pray for us, pray for all the MSFS fathers, brothers, Holy Cross sisters, and all the lay associates and benefactors who support our mission. Let us pray for vocations to our congregation. Let us pray that our ministry of spreading the word of God to the whole world may be effective and may bring light to those in darkness. Dear brothers and sisters, we pray for your intentions today. We pray for your families. We pray that the Lord may bless you with all that you need in life. We pray for our benefactors in a very special way that they may be blessed by our Lord. We thank God for the gift of each one of you and we pray for you through the intercession of the servant of God, Father Peter Mary Mermier and Saint Jerome. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind all our sins and our failures, and ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have failed. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of God the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest Saint Jerome a living and tender love for sacred scripture, and Father Peter Mermier, the virtues of humility and love for mission. 
Grant that your people may be ever more fruitfully nourished by your word, and find in it the fount of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job, chapter 1, verses 6 to 22. One day the sons of God came to attend on the Lord, and among them was Satan. So the Lord said to Satan, Where have you been? Round the earth, he answered, roaming about. So the Lord asked him, Did you notice my servant Job? There is no one like him on the earth, a sound and honest man who fears God and shuns evil. Yes, Satan said, but Job is not God-fearing for nothing, is he? Have you not put a wall round him and his house and all his domain? You have blessed all, the, all he undertakes, and his flocks throng the countryside. But stretch out your hand and lay a finger on his possessions. I warrant you, he will curse you to your face. Very well. The Lord said to Satan, All he has in your, is in your power, but keep your hands off his person. So Satan left the presence of the Lord. On the day when Job's sons and daughters were at their meal and drinking wine at their eldest brother's house, a messenger came to Job. Your oxen, he said, were at the plow with the donkeys grazing at their side when the Sabians swept down on them and carried them off. Your servants, they put to the sword, I alone escaped to tell you. He had not finished speaking when another messenger arrived. The fire of God, he said, has fallen from the heavens and burnt up all your sheep and your shepherds too. I alone escaped to tell you. He had not finished speaking when another messenger arrived. The Chaldeans, he said, three bands of them have raided your camels and made off with them. Your servants they put to the sword. I alone escaped to tell you. He had not finished speaking when another messenger arrived. Your sons and daughters, he said, were at the meal and drinking wine at the eldest brother's house when suddenly from the wilderness a gale sprang up, and it battered all four corners of the house, which fell in on the young people. They are dead. I alone escaped to tell you. Job rose and tore his gown and shaved his head. Then falling to the ground, he worshipped and said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, naked shall I return. The Lord gave, the Lord has taken back. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this misfortune, Job committed no sin, nor offered any insult to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Responsorial Psalm Turn your ear to me, O Lord, hear my words. Turn your ear to me, O Lord, hear my words. Lord, hear a cause that is just. Pay heed to my cry, turn your ear to my prayer, no deceit is on my lips. Your response? Turn your ear to me, O Lord, hear my words. From you may my judgment come forth, your eyes discern the truth. You search my heart, you visit me by night, you test me and you find me in no wrong. Your response? Turn your ear to me, O Lord, hear my words. I am here, and I call, you will hear me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words. Display your great love, you whose right hand saves your friends from those who rebel against them. Your response? Turn your ear to me, O Lord, hear my words. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia! I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one can come to the Father except through me. 
Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 9, verses 46 to 50. An argument started between the disciples about which of them was the greatest. Jesus knew what thoughts were going through their minds. And he took a little child and set him by his side. And then said to them, Anyone who welcomes this little child in my name welcomes me. And anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. For the least among you all, that is the one who is great. John spoke up. Master, he said, we saw a man casting out devils in your name, and because he is not with us, we tried to stop him. But Jesus said to him, You must not stop him. Anyone who is not against you is for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, in the first reading from Job, we see that Job's faith is tested. Yet he declares, Though he slay me, yet I will hope in him. May we learn to trust God's goodness, even in adversity. In the Gospel from Luke, De Jesus teaches humility and servanthood. Whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. May we embody humility and serve others selflessly today. We honor two remarkable individuals. St. Jerome, a champion of scripture study, and Father Peter Mermier, founder of the Missionaries of St. Francis de Sales. Their legacies inspire us to deepen our love for God's word, humility, and for the mission of Christ. St. Jerome's devotion to scripture reminds us of the transformative power of God's Word. His tireless efforts to translate the Bible into Latin made it accessible to countless people. May his example encourage us to immerse ourselves in Scripture. Father Peter Mary Mermier, the founder of the Missionaries of St. Francis de Sales and the Sisters of the Cross of Shawanoth, embodied humility and missionary zeal. He was born in 1790 in France. Father Mermier dedicated his life to spreading the gospel, especially among the marginalized. He established the MSFS congregation in 1838 to continue this mission. Father Mermier's charism of knowing, loving, and serving God and others inspires us too. Know God's love through scripture and prayer. Love others selflessly, especially 
the most vulnerable. Serve with humility and compassion both St. Jerome and Father Peter Mary Mermier, our founder, demonstrate the importance of embracing scripture, the virtue of humility, and to be active in mission. Their legacies challenge us to study and live God's word, to cultivate in us humility and servanthood, ready to be at the service of God. Embody missionary zeal, spreading God's love to all. St. Jerome and Father Peter Mermier pray for us that we may cherish scripture, embody humility, and serve others with love. May your legacies inspire us to trust in God's word and his providence. Amen. Blessed art thou, O Lord, Israel's God for all ages. Thine is the power and glory and splendor. All things are thine, O Lord. Be from the Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him, through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim Worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, let the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is a chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of our faith save us savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held this body to be in your presence and ministered to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope derrick our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with saint joseph as spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coheirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him O God almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we all dare to say our father Who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior Jesus Christ for, for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ you said to apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will who we'll live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and, and with, with your spirit. spirit let us offer each other this loving sign of peace peace be with you lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the lamb of God behold you who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those who are called to the supper of the lamb Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed
spiritual communion praying. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we thank you for praying for us and for praying with us. We are happy to celebrate the Founders Day. We are happy to pray for all our missions, for all the beneficiaries of our missions. We thank each one of you for being part of this mission. We humbly ask you to be with us in this mission of the proclamation by your prayerful support and by your financial support which you are already doing. Let us build up the kingdom of God with love, generosity and support. Wishing you all a very happy feast. May the Lord bless your families with good health and success. Let us pray. May these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, as we rejoice in celebrating St. Jerome and Servant of God, Father Mermie, stir up the hearts of your faithful so that attentive to sacred teachings and living the virtues of humility, they may understand the path they are to follow and by following it, obtain life everlasting. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, wishing you a joyful day and a very happy feast. Mm -hmm.